Speaking of first world problems, chances are you'll get a gift card this holiday season. Yeah, gift cards. These are all yours. These are all, well, these are our producers. Oh, okay. And I might just keep these. But um, gift cards have ballooned into a $32 billion a year business. A Consumer Reports survey shows half of all shoppers say they plan to buy one of these this year. But if you get a gift card you don't want, what do you do? You can buy store gift cards almost anywhere, but not everyone likes to get them. I got a gift card to this clothing store that I had no interest in, so I just gave it to my little sister. Another way to get rid of gift cards, trade them for cash at one of the many gift card exchange websites out there. Consumer Reports' Todd Marks checked four of them. These websites buy your cards at less than face value and then resell them. That means you get less, sometimes a lot less, than they're worth at the store. For example, a $100 Toys R Us gift card gets $80.50 at giftcards.com, but shrinks to $50 at monstergiftcard.com. We looked at 13 different store gift cards and found that giftcards.com gave us the most money back, but it still pays to shop around because paybacks differ from site to site and from card to card. You'll generally get more cash back for gift cards from popular retailers. With Walmart, a $100 gift card gets you around $90 at all the sites Consumer Reports checked. Another option, you can get cash right away at Coinstar kiosks found in stores throughout the country. But you may not get as much money back as you would have on the websites. This $100 Walmart gift card gets only $71 here. Giving a bank gift card makes it easier for the person who gets it. Bank gift cards are easier to redeem than store gift cards. If they carry the logo of MasterCard, Visa, American Express, or Discover, they can be redeemed at any merchant that accepts those cards. Okay, so also keep in mind that those bank gift cards usually cost 4 to $6 to purchase. So that's a cost to keep in mind if you're thinking about giving gift cards this holiday season. Also, if you don't like your gift cards, you can send them to 7025 Raymond Road, WISC. <laughs> Care of Michelle, Michelle Lee. Michelle Lee. I'll take them. You got to pay for a gift card? Do I what? Do you have to pay? Well, those bank cards. Oh, the you know, bank ones. Like the, those the ones visa? that are like visas. But not so. like an Outback card. It's $50 is $50. No. And sometimes, it, you know, sometimes you get like... Um, uh, more for your money if you go to like Costco, if you're actually wanting to buy a gift card that you want, you know, for someone else, you can get like a, a better deal if you buy them at Costco. Gotta love Costco. I do love Costco. I know you do. Yeah, I know.